Two words. Two words. Two words for you. Hi, everyone, and welcome to your reading for March 11th. So, a couple of these recordings did not record. So I'm coming to you from a hotel room and we're going to see if this works without a microphone. I think it will. We'll see how we go. What are the messages, Spirit, for whenever this reading finds you to be posted on March 11th? <laughs> Let's just see if we can get any messages that resonate. The Queen of Cups. The Three of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Moon, and underneath we have Judgment, uh, Ascending, Rebirth, Leaving the Old Shell Behind. Spirit self is emerging here. I only brought one deck of cards with me, so I'm using the Light Seers Tarot deck, my favorite deck. So you are reborn anew this March 11th, um, and it brings you into the energy of the Ten of Pentacles, which is everything you've ever wanted in the physical world. Ten of Pentacles. Happy home, happy family, you know, just inheritance and generations of wealth, love, and abundance. You do have, I can tell you that like, you've come into um, the Queen of Cups. Mastering your heart. Allowing your heart to receive. Um, just, you know, all queens master something, but the Queen of Cups, this is really surrender of the heart. And you can see she surrendered to the divine and her heart is open. The cup of love is, is right in front of her heart. And she has surrendered to divine love. So somewhere recently you have surrendered um, which is going to set you out on a new adventure, the Three of Wands. You've got something stable and solid that you've created, and you're ready to go out on a journey now, um, a new adventure, but you are hesitating. <laughs> There's some hesitancy there, but it will lead you to your t Ten of Pentacles. So the Spirit is saying, go, you know, um, get out of that stuck energy, and... Um, um, you can just set your hesitation aside because your heart is open to receive divine guidance. Um, Spirit is saying you are still hanging on to the past and it's a very loving message coming to you. Spirit wants you to know that um, it does take a long time to let the patterns of the past go. And you are doing great work in releasing it but to be patient because it does take a long it can seemingly take a long time to let go of the thoughts that we no longer want even if we've made a decision to let them go um, it's okay to just allow whatever's coming up to come up and you're not in control of when it leaves with the moon and this energy there's something that's hidden from you it's not been revealed on purpose um, you know the spirit is going to lead you and guide you into the unknown and out of this energy of loss and sadness, you will be taken into a mystery, the mystery of life, of joy, of happiness, and it's going to bring you into this rebirth. You can see right there she's ascending and wow, wow, underneath that you have the star this is the most healing card in the deck. It means you are allowing healing to happen. And with the Hierophant, 
it says you will reach a state of enlightenment of some sort. <laughs> and it just goes on and on. The King of Wands is a new beginning in um, something you're very passionate about. And then you have the Six of Wands, success after victory. I mean, it doesn't stop. These car You're on a journey of awakening. You have awakened um, to something and in some sort of... Um, there's been some kind of enlightenment happen that's happened to you. And the Ten of Pentacles is what you're, you are or will be experiencing. Just a feeling that you have everything you could possibly want. So I'm with you on this journey. <laughs> and um, be gentle with yourself. And trust. The universe has you. Allow the healing, and you're doing a great job. Those are the messages I have for you. I will see you next time. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you.